welcome back to Mother Trucker. Today we have a new vehicle. Here we have a 2003 MGTF. Let's have a little look around. Nice projector headlamps. A little bit sun bleached. Do a little polish. Overall body works quite good condition. Covered in bird poo. What's different about this one is it doesn't work. I believe the slave master cylinder is gone. This one is a 1.6. Now the giveaway for a 1.6 is usually black door handles, black vents and black mirrors. And some people like to colour code these. The 1.8s are usually colour coded unless it's been painted or swapped. These wheels have been painted, covered in scuffs. Here we have half leather interior. I'm not going to start this one up because the battery's flat. Got around 72,000 miles on the clock. Temperature gauge there, clock. Somebody swapped the uh, knobs over. That one's loose. So I, I sort it out, play with it until it stiffens up. Five speed manual. A little bit of mould, could do with a uh, good clean in here. Now I've ordered a new slave cylinder. We'll get that done in a later video. This one has come with a few extras. Like the door speaker, it's fallen off. Come with the tonneau cover for the roof when you have the hard top off, which is good. It's an alternator in there. Don't know if it's for this vehicle. Mm, an old set of uh, heat control clocks. couple of relays mm. also the 1.6 is tend not to have central locking uh, this one has a hard top <coughs> although it's a little bit dirty there's no uh, cracking or spider webbing in the fiberglass on the roof the seals look quite good so that's a good little roof I'll get the uh, hard top off and we'll check out the um, soft top and see what that's like. But first, let's give it a wash.
tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small What we're going to do now is uh, spray some Tesco shampoo and wax onto the vehicle As you can see it's still covered in this years of build up nice big scratch there anyway some of the uh, paint of the uh, fantastically painted wheels is peeling off I don't know whether or not I should uh, put some paint stripper on there or repaint them or what somebody let me know in the comments section below uh, the normal corrosion areas for these vehicles tend to be here it's not the worst I've seen but not the best these areas tend to go as well and it doesn't look too bad and also around here where water gets trapped usually fills up and down here normally get bubbling around the arches in this area also that boot lid is filthy hopefully after a bit of shampoo that will clear up nicely I don't know if this is something to do with it being a 1.6 the petrol filler cap painted black or whether somebody did it I don't know maybe somebody who does know can let me know in the comments
can see the scratches and stone chips and thing. Doesn't really come out too bad this side. Went over it twice. Tesco cleaner's not bad. Well worth it for one pound under one pound fifty, I believe it was. I think I might have to go over the boot again. Try and get those little marks out. But now to do this side, see if I can get this out.
doesn't come out too bad. Considering that's Tesco's uh, own car wash, wash and wax. And the boots come out okay. The roof, a nice little shine to it. Looking at the headlights, I don't think they're too bad actually. I will give them a little polish and uh, go over with ceramic coat at some point. Probably uh, machine polish the whole car and ceramic coat it. But I'm not going to do that now. I'm knackered. I've overdone it. I'm going to be feeling it tomorrow. But I was eager to show you guys. Might give it a full service cam belt water pump. Depends on finances and what's available, how I'm feeling. Anyway, thanks for watching.